This is Pranav Vua Thakurta. And today our guest is from across the border, Mr. Gyanesh, Mr. Gyanesh Tripathi, Principal, Cider International School, Chittagong, Bangladesh. Sir, welcome. Thank you, Pranav. Uh, Mr. Gyanesh, we have got very important question. How a passive and reluctant learner can be transformed into active and enthusiastic learner? Over to you, sir. Pranav, uh, the question you have asked, it is very relevant and this is the story of each and every school and each and every classroom. I would say that we find passive and reluctant learners and we find a batch of students who are very progressive and they understand everything very fast. But um, to deal with such challenges, we need to adopt some strategy, what I would say. And uh, we can definitely, you know, motivate them, mold them towards becoming a very active learner. And uh, if I see into the deep of this particular process, so I find that there are two major reasons because of that children are very passive and reluctant in terms of learning in the classroom. And uh, those two major reasons in my perspective are either the content is beyond their capacity. And the second part is the content is beyond their interest area. In both the cases, they are reluctant and they don't want to learn. So we need to identify this problem first that uh, actually what is the student's problem. And for that, we need to adopt the differentiated learning process in our classroom. You know, this is something very important, very vital to pay attention on that. What is the differentiation means we talk a lot about differentiated learning, but what it is exactly. So if I talk about the differentiated learning, the differentiation in a classroom is not a, a recipe for teaching, I would say. It is not an instructional strategy at the same time. It is not what a teacher does when he or she has time. It is a way of thinking about teaching and learning. And it is a philosophy, you can say. And differentiation is based on a set of beliefs pronoun. Students who are same age differs in their readiness to learn, their interests, their style of learning, their experiences, and their life circumstances. See, this is very, again, very important point. I have added the point, their life circumstances. Every child's family environment is not the same, and that has a lot of impact on the child. So sometimes they need counseling on that part too. The differentiation, the differences in students are significant enough to make major impact on what students need to learn, the pace at which they need to learn it, and the support they need from the teachers and the others to learn it well. When I talk about differentiation, so obviously there is a concept of differentiated classroom. So how a differentiated classroom can be pronounced? In a differentiated classroom, teachers begin where students are and not at the beginning of the curriculum guide. Teachers accept and build upon premises that learners are all different. We have to believe this. We simply cannot give a test that the people will be passed who can climb this particular tree. Everyone cannot climb the tree. So we have to differentiate that. We have to believe that everyone is having a different ability to learn. And accordingly, we have to work on and how teachers can differentiate amongst the students. It is like we can go on the base of content process and the product, but based on students' readiness, interest and their learning style. Now, again, very important point here, Pranav, that learning style matters a lot. Every child is not having the same style of learning. You might be liking, you know, learning through videos more. I might be liking, I might be a kind right. of tactile learner who is, uh, you know, willing to do things and learn. And someone might be a learner who prefers to listen the lectures. So when we are planning our lesson, it has to be a blend of everything. 
we have to focus on the child's ability and accordingly we have to plan our things and for uh, the passive and very reluctant learners we have to mainly find out their area of interest and initially we have to work on that particular area so that they can excel they can do well and they can get some appreciation from the teachers and from the others and that appreciation and that work which is well done helps a lot because that is the key for a teacher to motivate that child towards the common goal that see in this area you have done really well means you have a lot of potential a lot of capability to crack things if you wish to so accordingly we can motivate the child and we can uh, you know uh, uh, ask the child to work for the common goal and this is the way what we do here also and this is the strategy we can adopt and you know motivate a passive learner a reluctant learner to be active i am not saying this is the 100% proven theory this is uh, this will work 100% but that is definitely there that a child will be active whatever he was there at before so this is the way we can you know motivate the children we can work on them but differentiation in a class is very much important if you do not differentiate you are simply you know you do not have any variety because when you are teaching it has to be relevant first when i say relevant not re relevancy not about the curriculum relevant to the child what content you are delivering it has to be relevant to the child's interest and it has to be challenging at the same time and it should be engaging if it is not there then there is a problem some who are god gifted they will go ahead and others will you know keep listening that you cannot do this you cannot do that you don't study you don't pay attention at home right you are not doing your homework we have to find out why child is not willing to do the homework so if that diagnosis is done then everything is possible later on right if not 100% then certainly 60 65% 70% are in better cases up to 90% so it is like that for now i think you gave a very good uh, input sir in fact uh, you correctly said some students would like to learn through videos some would like to learn through something else and when we are unable to reach their levels we term them as weak student or something else so we should also know how to come to their levels and teach them i am sure Pran uh, yes sir uh, sorry i am interrupting pranav uh, there is a another thing which i would like to add here is school management also need to play a role in this in what sense i am telling you if your you have adopted all these strategies you are asking teachers to go for differentiation and pay attention to the individual students and design something for them but if at the same time you are you know giving so much of workload to your teachers if a teacher is teaching suppose 30 periods in a week how much it is possible for a human being to differentiate for 25 students class so teachers workload also to be considered in you know in this uh, entire process if teachers are overloaded in that case they even if they try they will not be able to be successful 100% so as a principal i have to see this also that my teachers have enough time for their self study and enough time to right. prepare the different kind of content right now very right sir i am i'm firmly believe this message of yours will help other principals also teachers also and together all of us can help the students thank you so much mr tripathi mr gyanesh tripathi principal cider international school chitagong bangladesh thank you so much sir thank